Hi, I'm Bob. On this topic, let's learn how to draw bar charts for a single categorical variable. A categorical variable takes on several values. It is also known as the discrete variable. When it takes only two values, usually 0 and 1, it is called the dummy or binary variable. The stata command graph bar with the option over draws a bar chart of the percentages of observations for each category of the variable x. It is identical to typing the following command with specifying percent. If we want to show the frequencies of observations instead of the percentages, we replace the percent with the count inside the first parenthesis. The categorical variable's name is still in the second parenthesis. The following bar chart shows the number of workers for each category of the region variable. Let's continue to use the dataset I created for this course. You can download the dataset from the course resource link. There were categorical variables for the workers, such as education, gender, and region. In Stata, we type the graph bar command with the option over, followed by a parenthesis to draw bar charts. We put the categorical variable education inside the round bracket. It shows the percentage of observations for the four categories or groups of the variable education. It is the same as typing graph bar followed by a parenthesis and writing percent inside it. We find that around 38% of the observations are college graduates. If we want to know the number of observations in each educational level instead of the percentage, we replace the percent with the count. And there we are. We can see that more than 1,500 workers are college graduates. Around 1,300 received some college education. About 1,100 are high school graduates. We can draw horizontal bar charts using the graph H bar command. For example, we can show the number of observations over the region of residence using horizontal bar charts. We can add the actual values on top of the bars. To do that, we add an option B label, which means bar label. Now, each bar has a frequency count on the top. We can sort the categories using the sort sub-option inside the over option. To sort bars in ascending order, we specify sort 1. If we want a descending order, use the descending sub-option. Now, the observations in the five categories are ordered from the biggest to the smallest. To stack bars over the education level, we can specify the option as YWAS stack. We can change the order of categories with the sort sub-option. We can also use the F color sub-option to change the fill color of each bar and the L color sub-option to change the outline color of each bar. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.